Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, end of day a review of the European markets for the close of the 8th of September 2016. Okay, in terms of the uh, economic data points today, really it was all about Mr. Draghi. Okay, in terms of Mr. Draghi and uh, the uh, actual uh, ramifications of his uh, QE policy. Now, initially, the euro certainly uh, spiked higher, given the fact that he did not, ex well, certainly didn't open, wasn't open discussions of increasing the uh, QE, nor in terms of lengthening it either. So he was basically neutral, and that isn't exactly what markets were expecting. The market certainly expecting more dovish rhetoric, and therefore, uh, obviously, that would uh, trigger the uh, rally in equities, and that certainly didn't transpire at all, okay? Now, European markets certainly closed mixed. You had the uh, German DAX, the CAC, basically all the European equities that are exposed to the euro certainly closed lower, given the fact that the euro certainly appreciated, whereas the FTSE certainly closed up 12 points, well, 0.2%. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the uh, app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store, so certainly visit www.tradesignal.com. Okay, now in terms of... Um, the technical uh, reaction, let's just uh, certainly look at that. Now, the FTSE certainly was higher due to the fact that oil, uh, the uh, drawdown, certainly more higher than expected, and that certainly helped oil prices uh, move higher, and therefore the FTSE certainly moved higher as well. The European equity certainly bounced off the, off the low. Now, let's just look at where the charts stand. So looking at the daily chart of the FTSE 100, you still have consolidation within this bullish green candle, okay? So uh, that certainly is in play, whether you uh, call that front running into Carney or prior to Carney, given the fact that he was very dovish and certainly justified his QE stance, that certainly is debatable. Okay, but no, either way, you're certainly seeing consolidation within the green candle, which was on registered on the 2nd of September. Okay, now the 60-minute uh, chart, the FTSE 100, we're still holding the, uh, the actual uh, pivot high. We, we failed to retest that. Uh, we had the pivot high at 6.930, 6.926. We did actually retrace at least a fib from fib, fib high to fib low. And this, this level is certainly crucial on the FTSE, so bear that in mind. Even today with the sell-off in Europe, the uh, this level certainly held. Now, this level being 6.920, so watch out for 6.920. We did hit a pivot low of 6.915 before we bounced quite um, viciously, quite importantly. Okay, so again... Looking at a fib retracement, so uh, retracement here around the 61 to 75 percent. Okay, you can certainly see the FTSE retraced and then started to move well. So it did actually sell off towards the uh, close, but then bounced again. So again, looking at this level, 6920, solid support for the FTSE. In terms of resistance above, you are looking at 6990. FTSE certainly being capped there. Okay, taking the pivot high from here, connecting it to the next pivot, and you certainly are looking for a further lower high. Okay. That certainly is the zone to look for. A 10 minute chart on the FTSE, again, we actually retraced more than FIB 75% of the sell off, so which is very, very bullish. And that certainly was helped by the stronger oil. We did actually manage to close a gap below. This was a key gap that needed closing at 6940. Uh, we actually hit a pivot low of 6916, as you can see here, or 6920, should I say, intraday. So again, respected. All the key technical zones were respected. Okay, so that gap certainly is out of the equation now, so nothing really dragging the FTSE lower. Okay, so again, you're oscillating between 6.920 and up at 6.980, so within that zone. And I don't see that uh, being broken unless oil prices start to tumble. With the oil data today, uh, especially with the drawdown in oil, certainly does, uh, does alleviate any supply concerns. Okay, uh, what was quite surprising was that the, uh, the rally in oil was accompanied with the stronger dollar as well so impressive you had the aussie and kiwi certainly setting off uh, much much stronger than expected and uh, you certainly uh, uh, witness the uh, the oil prices moving in the opposite direction along with equities okay so impressive so for now 6920 very unlikely for that to uh, crack unless we see some hawkish commentary or we see a, a real sharp drop in oil okay uh, looking at the german dax now and this one is this one remain this index certainly remains vulnerable for me the reason why I say vulnerable is because you have political turmoil at home, so political uncertainty at home, okay, and then obviously you have weak economic data out of Germany, that certainly is spoiling the party, and on top of that you have a stronger euro, okay. 
So all those factors combined certainly doesn't bode well for the German DAX, okay? 60 minute chart, the German DAX, you uh, certainly respected this uh, key diagonal trend line. We hit pivot S3 intraday and then we started to bounce. So again, from my perspective, really it's all about the lower high now. So if I take the pivot high to pivot low, you are uh, it certainly will be looking to short European equities. I actually short the euro stocks and I'll be looking to short further uh, the European equities on the back of a stronger euro. And obviously no additional stimulus or QE to uh, to actually um, feed the potential market higher. 10 minute chart, again, you're looking at lower lows and lower highs from my perspective. And certainly looking for weakness here. So taking the pivot high to the next pivot high. And again, like I said, lower lows, lower highs. And that certainly seems to be the, uh, the uh, bias for me, okay? Uh, again, support is seen around the 10, 7, 40, 10. Sorry, 10.5, 80, 10.5, 70. So watch out for that zone, okay? Let's bring up the chart of the French CAC now, okay? So again, looking at the daily chart of the French CAC, you're still holding the gap fill resistance zone at uh, 4560. So that level certainly is being held, okay? So watch out for the uh, zone at uh, 4560, looking for weakness, okay? Again, you have the unfilled gap at uh, 4340 below. So it certainly remains vulnerable. Looking at the 60 minute chart, the French cat, your pivot high is 4560. Okay. Uh, again, we did actually respect this key previous resistance equal support on the French cat, and we bounced impressively. Okay. So I'm certainly looking to short the French cat as well tomorrow. Uh, obviously, if we break 4567, uh, 4565, then obviously the bearish bets or bearish trade is off. Uh, again, my bias certainly would be that gap fill below. Certainly hasn't closed at uh, 4440, so I'm looking for at least a 100 point drop on the French CAC. That's my uh, my personal uh, potential uh, trading uh, target for the French CAC tomorrow. Again, 4490, 4480, certainly have some for, so form of support in that zone, so watch out there, okay? In terms of the 10 minute chart of the uh, French CAC, let's just bring this up for you. Uh, we certainly s seem to be revisiting this key resistance uh, zone here. Previous resistance equals support, previous support equals resistance. Taking the pivot high from here, connecting it to the next pivot high, and you certainly see that you have this key diagonal trend line. So 4550, 4555 is a zone certainly looking to short the French CAC. Now this is quite an impressive uh, impressive reversal. I mean, even with the, um, I mean, we did actually see the Euro reverse as well. So that certainly was uh, helped by this as well. But nevertheless, uh, Euro currently trading at 1.1260. That certainly isn't good for export so we'll see exactly what happens then okay right so my bias certainly remains bearish given the fact that the lack of qe for mr draghi let's bring up the euro stocks now okay so euro stocks daily chart still holding that key resistance as well okay a similar type of uh, formation still looking for a lower high so double top certainly in looking for a lower high and the 10 minute chart again looking for weakness here Sim really similar to the uh, french cac okay so again looking for weakness on the euro stock so again the story is stronger euro okay let's just bring the euro usd for you okay so again you did actually put a potential topping tail there and that was mainly due to the fact that you had stronger uh, jobless claims from the us and again supports the dollar to a large extent but i'm still expecting another thrust tire back up to that 1.135 certainly is the next target on this uh, pair for the euro bringing up the dollar index as well let's bring up the dollar chart okay so dollar certainly seems to have made a potential bottom here on the back of this uh, jobless data but again we'll see given the fact that we have an unfilled gap below and given the fact that uh, economic data as of late from the us certainly has been weaker again looking for further weakness in the dollar if the dollar does start to appreciate and, and, and again it was a dollar solely today because we had strength versus the aussie and the kiwi uh, although oil, like I said, didn't move in the opposite direction, but that, again, that was supported by its own domestic fundamentals. So certainly some food for thought here. OK, certainly some food for thought, given this bottoming tail and certainly looking for a pop on the uh, the actual uh, euro, Aussie and uh, Kiwi versus a dollar. Previous support equals resistance on the dollar index. So again, looking for a pause here in the dollar rally and looking for a rally in the Aussie and the Kiwi. Okay, so again, impressive. Okay, very impressive. Aussie Kiwi failed to rally with the uh, price of oil. Again, it was a dollar-related story. Whether that was due to the... Uh, there was no other geopolitical or economic concern uh, as a, that really 
force the market in the opposite direction. Okay, so for now that certainly seems to be the case. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the potential bonus. Goodbye now, folks.